Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time you're watching. My name is Kellyanne Rose with Yoga by Kelly Rose, and today I will be guiding you in a chair yoga class. This is a sampling of a little bit of the style of class that I lead for my seniors at assisted living and independent living centers here in San Diego. I also can offer private and anyway, let's get started. I'm not adding music to this video for YouTube copyright. I don't want to, I want to keep it safe with avoiding any infringement. So let's go ahead and get started by scooting forward on your seat, grounding your feet down into Mother Earth. Relaxing your shoulders, spine straight and tall. Take a deep inhale through your nose, filling up your belly with air, filling up your chest, holding at the top, and exhale, release it out. Open mouth, exhale. This time we place our hands to our heart as we breathe in through our nose. Filling up that chest and belly with air. Holding at the top and open mouth, exhale. Bring to att att attention any intentions you have for class today. Noticing how your body feels. Noticing your stress level and rating it now from one to 10. 10 being the most stressed and one being the least. Notice any sensations in your body, maybe aches or pains, maybe sore muscles. We'll be addressing those in class today. Just noticing how your body feels and sending gratitude to yourself for bringing yourself here today, for showing up for today's class. Let's also make the intention for an open heart practice. One more deep inhale through the nose. And as we exhale, we lower our arms and release it all out. Sitting back in our chair, getting ready for today's practice, place your hands on your knees, inhale, come forward, arch your back, head high. Exhale, concave, chest to chin. Cat cow series, inhale, come forward. Exhale, back as you roll your shoulders forward. Again, inhale, come forward. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. One last time, inhale, come forward. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Scoot forward on your chair now and hug the bottom of your legs, bringing your head down. This is going to be called our child's pose for today. If at any time during practice, you need to rest, you can feel free to dip back into this child's pose. Introduction also here of the Ujjayi Pranayama breathing, which heats up the body and calms the mind. Turn my light on, I forgot to do that. There we go. One more breath as we are hugging our legs. And what the Ujjayi Pranayama breath here is, is breathing in through your nose and out through your nose, constricting the throat muscles. So it's much like you're fogging up a mirror, but it's with your mouth closed. So it sounds like almost a gremlin sound but your mouth is closed, so it sounds like this.
We don't usually do the ujjayi in chair yoga as much, but we wanted to introduce it. You're welcome to use that today as well. Returning back to our chair seated up, take a deep inhale, cleansing breath through your nose and relax, release, let it out through your mouth. Open mouth, exhale. Let's take a few more cleansing breaths here. So we're gonna open our legs wide, inhale our arms high, and on the exhale, we release, open mouth, exhale, hinge from the hips, and all the way down. Inhale high, exhale, hinge and low. Inhale high, exhale, open mouth. Nice job. Shake that out a little bit. Close back down our eyes. We inhale, lift our shoulders up high. Exhale, roll those shoulders back. Still in her warm-up series here. We inhale, shoulders high. Exhale, roll those shoulders back. Nice. Breathing here on your own pace, rolling those shoulders back. And we roll the shoulders forward now. Continuing to breathe. Either out through the nose or out through the mouth, either way. Nice, and as we continue to warm up, let's tick tock our head right and left, ear on either shoulder, one at a time. And we roll that neck down and around. Like breathing just through our nose here, feeling the stretch in the back of our neck. And reverse the circle, roll the other side. Yes, feeling that stretch in the back of the neck. If you need a deeper stretch, take your hands, place them behind your head, and pull your neck down. Breathe in. And breathe out. This time as you breathe in, bring your elbows high. As you breathe out, bring your neck low. Again, breathe in, elbows up. Breathe out, elbows low. Again, breathe in, elbows high. Exhale, elbows together. Nice job. One more time. Breathe in, elbows up. Exhale, elbows in and down. Good job. Introduction to some twists here. Just a gentle twist. Inhale, lift both arms high. Exhale, we're going to drop that right arm and bend over to our right side. I'm mirroring you. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, we drop that left arm and look and bend over to our left side. Nice. Inhale, both arms up. Gold pose those arms. And as the exhale, we scoot forward in our seat and we swan dive it forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, back is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up. Nice job. On the exhale here, we're gonna cross our right leg over our left, crossing that leg over, and we're gonna twist over our right side, looking over our right shoulder. Option to use that hand on the back of your chair for some friction resistance and a deeper stretch. Inhale, both arms come high, both feet planted on the floor now. And as we exhale, we bring that left leg over our right leg, twisting over now to our left shoulder. Breathing here pushing resistance on the back of your chair and as well on your thigh for some resistance and a deeper stretch, looking back over that shoulder. Nice job, guys. As we inhale, both feet down, both hands up. Exhale, come down and forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Scoot back on your chair if you need. Feeling the stretch in your hips with that wide leg stance, introduction to some hip openers here. See if you can walk your hands underneath your chair. Feeling a deeper hip opening stretch. Nice job. We can walk our hands to the right. Feeling that stretch, nice. And walk our hands over to the left. Beautiful job. We can bring both arms high. Place your hands behind your head and then bring your head all the right back down. Pulling that head down. And then slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time, keeping your head down as you pull the back of your neck here. Breathing into your belly. Spine straight, exhale, pulling your chin to your chest. Staying here as we feel the deeper stretch, we inhale, exhale, pull it down. And we can even use our elbows to assist here. We inhale, elbows high, exhale, pull that neck down. Staying here, we inhale, exhale, pulling that chin to the chest even more. Nice job. Now we're gonna drop that left hand, lift that, I'm sorry, drop that right hand, lift that left hand overhead, mirroring is tough sometime. And we're just gonna stretch, slight bend in your right elbow, stretching over to the right side. Nice, both arms up and we release the other hand down. Opposite stretch, beautiful job. Get into some flows here. We inhale both arms high. Swan dive forward. As we exhale it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, twist over that right shoulder. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, all the way down and forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, twist over that left shoulder. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold as you open your feet wide. Inhale, oh, right arm high. Exhale, right arm to the floor. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, left arm to the floor. Feeling that lower back twist as you do that. Inhale, lift your arms high. Exhale, hands back down into prayer. This time we're gonna go ahead and lift up that left, right ankle, right ankle. Placing it over our left knee, pushing down that right leg. Breathing in, chest lifts high, breathing out, pushing down further for that hip stretch. It's always that when we open our hips, it also releases that emotion. So let's go ahead and breathe in again and exhale it out. Breathe in, arms high. Breathe out, push it back down. Nice, good job. All right, both feet back from the planted on the floor. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, other foot. Left ankle over our right leg. Push down that left leg. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, the right sides here. I'm really making a concerted effort to mirror you and say the opposite of what I'm doing so that when you're at home, you can be mirroring me. 
Forgive me if I mess up. All right, we breathe in again, we lift our arms high, and we exhale, push that left leg down. Breathing in, chest high. Breathing out, push it out. Good job. All right, not many of us are going to be able to do this, but we do have an option to butterfly the legs here. If you can't do that, no problem. You are welcome to go ahead and push those legs down. If not, you can just lift those legs wide again and go down on your seat, feeling those hips open as we move our bodies forward. Nice, we can do ankles high or ankles low. We can lift those heels or bring them down. Good job, just breathing here, alternating right and left, heel lifting high. Yes, good job. All right. Keeping the alternating there. All right, we're gonna lift up, bring those arms high. Exhale all the way down and forward. If inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. This time, as we inhale, we're gonna come up into warrior one. Seat on the chair, shoulders relaxed. Okay, back leg is straight, front knee is bent. We're gonna exhale to warrior two. Arms to both sides of the chair. Slight dristy gaze over that front middle finger. So we're gonna have our right knee forward. As we inhale, we reverse our warrior. Back leg stays straight. And we exhale, we come forward, bringing that front elbow on the front leg and looking up at that palm facing down. Beautiful job here, guys. Then we come back into the middle with a little more advanced variation as we get into our warrior seated. Go ahead and inhale, arms high, other side, exhale all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, other side. Back leg straight, front knee bent, arms up, shoulders relaxed, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, pivot that back heel down so it's at a 45 degree angle. Arms at each side of your chair. Dristy gaze, relax those shoulders, gazing over that front middle finger, and we exhale, back leg straight. We look up at our top palm facing down. We inhale, we come forward, front elbow on our front, just above our, five inches of, uh, above our front knee. And then we look up at that top palm facing down. Beautiful job. All right, we come back to the middle here and we bring both arms high, inhale. And release it, both arms down. Meet me back in that child's pose, hugging your legs. Slowly, slowly. Bringing your head up one vertebrae at a time, but keeping that chin to the chest. your hands at your heart for our Anjali Mudra. This brings balance, connection, unification. And at this time in class, I would invite my students to engage in a meditation. So I'll turn up some gong music, music with the gongs or sound bowl healing. And what I have everyone do is just kind of take time to do any last minute stretches you'd like. I always welcome a self massage. If you'd like to massage your head, neck, shoulders, arms, legs, sometimes patting down the arms and legs, I highly encourage. And then moving from there, we tense up anything in our body that we need to just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and hold tight. 
tight, 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 and then we release, we relax it all. We relax our arms, we relax our legs. You can sit up in your chair or you can just relax it back. I play the music and we close down our eyes and engage in silence as yoga is a preparation for meditation. So we enter into the meditation portion. I'll invite you to do that on your own, but for today, bringing my hands back to my heart, just wanted to say and thank you. I have so much gratitude that you brought yourself here today and that you finished watching this video, that you showed up here for yourself, noticing how your body feels now versus uh, at the beginning of class and sending any additional gratitudes, noticing maybe a little bit more opening of the heart and how your heart feels now versus at the beginning of class. I thank you so much. The light and love in me honors and sees the light and love in you. Namaste. All right, beautiful class, guys. Continue to feel free to meditate here. Hold your silence and stillness. And I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day.